layout that we have for the game. I really do like how Team has drafted something that is so solid. They still have a very massive front lines to get to actually take quite a number of hits, so they don't really have to worry too much about the Harley. But if the Harley snowballs, Benesic is going to have such a great time in this game. So we want to see how this is going to be played out in the very first game of this best of five between Benesic as well as Team. So final matches. Uh, to be played out here make sure you guys who are hanging out in the chat drop in your predictions right now before we head into the land of dawn show your support as well to these teams share the stream let the team know that you're supporting them either if you either you're on the side of uh, benasic or if you're on the side of team regardless let everybody know your support everybody needs it and this is, is definitely a game that you have to watch definitely as we're now seeing the positioning here of Honda Beast positioning way behind enemy lines revenge is going to be thrown out onto Aaron it's still going to be a relatively even fight what I want to look out for here is the side lane matchup specifically on the top lane here for 30 gaming who's actually suffering in the hands of Ren and Jay uh, Ren and Jay is completely outclassing 30 gaming this 1v1 duel and that's definitely going to be the first blood going into his favor as I say that a battle for the little wonder here in the bottom lane Changu will get taken out and Painflex is going to be forced back off. Oh my, Yuri's going to be joining in on the fray. Uh, and we'll be backing off. Just the call to disengage is worth it. They don't want to get a lot of losses in the earlier part of the game. I really like how explosive the start is coming from team. And now that it's going to be a Uranus versus a higher boost of matchup, it won't be too much of a problem with Uranus, even if the OG Shadow kill is being popped up. But Honda Beast gets a catch. Wow. And Aaron is what low. Break nah. <laughs> but he'll be able to walk away, though. <laughs> Good try, yeah. nonetheless. Wings by wings. Yeah, it's um just the aggression the team is showing here is just uh, pretty much their, their main point uh, all throughout the entirety of the game. I'm looking forward to see uh, how well Doggy will be able to line up the Numenum Blast against uh, Benesic, especially against the mobility that Changu, Omayuri, and Painflex has. That's going to be a tough uh, Luminum Blast to land. As I say that, H2 will spot out Omayuri and will uh, instead go for the kill. Ooh. Wait, he tried to actually juke out H2 as well, but it definitely has been able to expect him and he's on his final HP as well, so it's going to be really hard for him to survive. So team now gets a trio lead and further extending the lead by securing the turtle, but can Honda actually steal it away? He's in prime position, but here comes Painflix going in with a perfect last insanity just to snatch it right under the noses of team. And I guess that is safe enough for them to not really commit in towards a full-blown fist fight. And Renate is just making sure that, you know, Turdy doesn't even get to have a safe phase coming into uh, this solo matchup. But now that he's under turret, might as well go in for a trade. But Renate, no! This ain't a little bit too much. And that's a solo kill on both sides. Okay. Okay. I'll accept yeah. that. The turret assisted. That doesn't count. The turret assisted <laughs> in that kill. But that's still a one for well, a literal, quite literal one for one there uh, for themselves. Mm -hmm. As like, Gitnook get spotted out here in the bottom lane, trying to be a nuisance here for King Flicks in the jungle. Trying to zone out Changu from me, even trying to take down this uh, turret, just buying a little bit more time. And the bursts, uh, the wave clear the team has as far as appear, makes you question what's going to happen in the later part of the game when the minions are starting to push on forward. As S God gets spotted out, does have the Numina Blast available. The last insanity will be thrown out. S God still managed to survive. Doggy is going to look for an opportunity to fight back, gets the stun in for Sagitnu to secure that kill. I love the flank coming from Sagitnu as well. Cheekily sliding by the edge, just like he dropped right into the DMs. But H2 trying to take this buff away, and now Changu is in a really tight spot. I don't think he can actually make it out alive. So that's one more pointer in for the likes of Team Aaron. Just getting a little bit more gold, taking out his shields. 
Well, I guess overall team is just flexing their muscles of how well they play individualistically. Plus, you know, pain. I guess he was just trying to expand his Viraga armor, especially when it's already being shipping down low. But I guess fighting too much more than he can chew. No support being provided uh, coming from the rest of the Nasek. He will have to falter. Man, this is a tough for 3D Gaming. He's not having a good time here in the top lane. He's going to get zoned out and get found out by H2. Oh, the Deadly Magic going to be thrown out. going to be forced to use the Tempest of Blades to escape, but it's still a one-for-one -one trade. Not really a good showing here by Doggy on this uh, Lolita so far, but we'll see the demon in as soon as we reach uh, the eight-minute mark. The turtle is going to be started off uh, by team themselves. A potential steal and the... Uh, in the mids, not really likely. Honda Beast charging up the revenge. We'll get H2. H2 sidesteps away. That's still the turtle going to the side of team. But it's not going to the side of uh, H2, actually. It's going to the hands of Aaron. Ooh. Well, that's a lot of chunk of damage being dished out by Aaron overall. Forces them to retreat. But the airstrike will miss the mark overall. But that calls for a free buff for themselves. Especially when Escott's gonna be around. But over the top side, we have, do have a little bit of a skirmishing going on. Curdy just keeping himself pretty much safe, not really revealing all too much of an info towards the side of team. That's gonna be another crap going over in the hands of team as well. While Benesic is just holding along lines, and it seems like the Hayabusa didn't even have spacing to even roam oh. out. Moving on, Blast! Oh, catches them out, and Tangu didn't really expect such a fake out to drop right on top of his head and having no time to respond. Catches two on that Numenum Blast flicker. Um, Doggy still has it. Finally uh, getting a good land on the Numenum Blast. Uh, converting into a kill onto Changu. Really significant because Changu is currently sitting at 0, 3, and 0. 2,700 gold to his name. That's not the uh, best score line that you want to see. As the Order Brilliance just to dish out a couple, a little bit more damage on the top lane. Aaron's going to be forced to go into the top lane. Has the uh, Fender Dare Strike available and will be throwing it right now. The Revenge will be thrown out. H2 is going to take down Oh My Yuri. Last Insanity onto Aaron. Not going to connect. Renny J and Aaron has to back off here. In this team fight, they don't want to get uh, more losses than that. That is a one for one trade in the top lane. Yeah, both sides are trying to juggle with the pressure. So far, team has been able to actually secure a lot of vantage points coming in towards the lower portion of the map. They should be able to actually it's crush open the bottom side, but you know, they can take the sweet time while Benasic has been able to break the very first start over the top side. Getting themselves a little bit of a significant goal out of that, but the turtle though, there doesn't seem to be much of a priority coming from the Nasic here to actually secure it. But Sagnu is just gonna be moving right in, and you don't really want to focus down onto the Uranus as well. It will take quite a lot of effort to take him down. It's a relatively uh, even fight. Slight lead here on the side of team. Uh, turret pushes though are in favor of Benesic as Oh My Yuri is in the duel. Yeah, flexing that Evos, uh, flexing that Evos sticker. Oh My Yuri going for the jukes, going for another juke there on the quad shadow, but just buying a lot of time and delaying the inevitable quad shadow should be off. Cooldown down, but H2 Finch poises on top of that wall, takes him out. Her out. Well, so far it looks to be smooth sailing for the likes of a team. Now it's 11 to 4. The turret should be going down if Chang is going to be moving away from it. So good zoning coming from Renji. Meanwhile, they're also working on towards the mid side here as they are looking for pain. A little bit of a question mark being thrown by Renji. And he's like, okay, you made it a little bit easy for me, huh? <laughs> Uh, a little bit of banter being thrown out, not uh, not going to be finding any shortage of that throughout this entire game, I'm pretty sure. As Benasic has to mount a uh, good skirmish against uh, team. Revenge is going to be charged up by Honda to clear out the menu. Anyway, Zoom and Blast is going to get charged up into a flicker, catches Ooh. two with the collapse. By H2 on the 30 gaming and Han the Beast will secure him that double kill. Bust out Changu, Tempest of Blades will take him out with a triple. Will he get the Maniac and will he actually secure that last insanity? He's going to be forced to use sound and that is good showing.
by H2. Blue team turret. And oh, man, oh. Ren and J with the banter. Is this even a finals? Well, it, it looks to be very one-sided for the very moment. And they just straight up say, you know, boys, it's all easy. So here comes a dive coming in, and that will be the order of Grins being popped. Ren J moves into safety, but H2 is thinking, you know, why not commit to it, guys? Like, one by one, they crash right in, just taking some of the minutes while Uranus does what he pleases. Walks out of there, he's safety as well. So, meanwhile, while they're at it, Yuri still trying to actually juke out some of these players, but with one last HP, we'll have to use the quad shadows to hop right back, and this one is given to Aaron. Just had to stand there because she knows that she's gonna fall down regardless. Now on the beast, Charging this revenge onto H2, gets the knockup, gets the rage. They may be able to get the shutdown, and they do. The Numino Blast is going to get charged up, but it is just going to the hands of On the Beast. Feathered airstrike, and man, this is just way too much to handle for Benasic. The lead is already significant here for team, and they will be able to take down this tier 2 inhibitor to turret as well. Oh, what's the comeback mechanic here for Benasic? How will they be able to bounce back, Contra? Blue team well, if they really have to, then On the Beast will really need to pull some huge strings and first of all they need this Uranus to be out of the way so that they can look for the Farsa and while we're at it OG Shadow Kill being used and you see not much damage being done other than as got taking the shorter and the stick but not that is being all too anyways so other than that there's always the Numenon block that they have to avoid and speaking of that that's gonna be a huge mess and this is the collapse that they've been looking for and the airstrike is already out, Zachary goes down, and that's good signs for Benesic for a big comeback. But maybe I spoke too soon. Yeah, they popped the immortality as well. It's a uh, zero for two trade, good defense, but they're still suffering a lot of losses. There's That's still a tall mountain to climb to catch up to what team currently has. Pain is currently on level 12, H2's level 15, already max level. And Changu as well, the the i'd say the insurance for them in the late game is still not impactful in this game does not have the enough items to really burst down any members here with his deadly magic it's going to be a tall mountain to climb they need to delay this up until the 20 minute mark i would say at the very least 18 minutes for them to be able to at least keep up 4000 gold lead though level 2 lord is going to be uh gracing us here in the land of dawn but there's no sign of Benasic wanting to contest it. Red team has yeah, the and board. they understand that it's going to be a very hard to even contest when it comes down to the 5v5 factor on the beast now, coming in, just pulling up the Tyrant's Rage, but not amounting all too much. I guess one of the conditions to be met, like, not only do they he need to hit the 16, 18 minute mark to be able to, you know, get a little bit more room for their core items to come into effect, I see it potential for them to go in for the split push especially when you have a high boost as well as harley that can efficiently do so but in response as well you got the lane which is going to be able to stop at least one of the pushes going down the monos blast does not really connect and here comes oji shout kill only tickling both sagitnu as well as escot and not really getting all too much out of it here comes the dive coming from red jay going with the order of brilliance as well he's going for it it's a go ahead take the freebie we'll Boy. take your current instead and now lord's crashing right in this might just be the end game that team has been looking for as Vanessic hanging on a trap but they're fighting right back shot being fired but Vanessic will be able to survive to tell the tale they will be waiting for the next Lord to spawn, and that was good defensive efforts. Renna J overstayed his welcome there in diving towards the fountain. It's not, uh, I guess it's a show of his confidence on that Lunox. He almost did secure the kill, but good reaction by Honda Beast to just immediately go for the rage as soon as he popped out of the order of brilliance for them to secure and buy a little bit more time. But we have to consider this. Aaron on that far set, 2 0 and 4, uncontested, able to really bring out a lot of burst damage. We have to see Honda B set up a good revenge and rage. If he can catch at least three members from team, that would be huge. That can be the comeback here that they need. They can buy a little bit more time for them to at least ease into the late game stage. As the rage happens, they get Aaron out. They picked him off and that is a pickup that they want, but 
the bottom lane, H2, will just do his job, focus on the pushing the lane. You spot him out, they get the stun up. They have significant damage onto H2 now, but they cannot really chase out this Ling. At least they do get a little bit of a shutdown goal going on, at the very least. Now, Skidmu is just going for a little bit of a distraction happening over the mid side, while this arena is just going to be pulling eyeballs after eyeballs while they are working over on the bottom side of the turret. So, bottom turret still remains intact. Well, one minute, 20 seconds or less. We'll see a little bit of play, but now they're committing though. There is Immortality buying a little bit of time and that's all that the Lula can actually do. But to get new, I guess they're just gonna be walking back and they say, you know, that's a free kill for you. Just go ahead and take it. Banters. And what keeps us alive and entertained here is we, uh, you know, get an insight of what's in the mind of these guys as they play the game. But 45 seconds on the Lord, that's an objective that Benesic wants to get. They want to make sure that they get the Lord for them to at least get the bottom uh, tier 2 turret rolling as well as the inhibitor turret. But at the top, on the top side, Yuri is not having a good time against H2. The rage! Beautiful rage by Honda Beans. Oh, Yuri didn't have to fall back there. Stuns him up with the revenge as well, keeping Oh My Yuri alive in H2. Force a run back, low on HP, but will be able to survive. Mid lane though, team is running it down. They get Pain Flex down low and they take him out as well. This is a free Lord for them to take. Oh boy, hey. I, I guess like, uh, despite all the effort that they committed towards getting their hands onto H2, it didn't really result too much, not even popping the immortality as well. Like you said, this is their Lord to take right here and this not going to be too hard for them to do so immediately you see the health bars just get melted so 16 minutes is where you see team just gonna be storming their way in once again after the lord slowly marches forward so i guess the only good news is that they do have a lane being freed up and there is a little bit of ping over the top side so Benasic, if they really want to hit harder over on towards the top part of the map, they need to really commit to us and to push, but it's not going to be the right timing to do so because Luminous Lord is already making his way down towards the mid lane. Yeah, and the team, they will be working on the uh, bottom lane as well. Top lane, not much of a factor. It's going to be slowly pushing towards the top lane. Uh, and it's just a matter of time before team actually wipes uh, this game clean of... And he wins, and Illumina Blast not gonna connect. Revenge goes in, on the Beast goes for the Rage, now really stunning H2. This is the wall by that much. And now, the, with the Lord gone, Sagitnu is being focused on Shadow Kill is gonna be committed. And Sagitnu's diving straight into his team. Oh my, Yuri for able to squat Shadow out of there. As God's gonna go down. Doggy is out of the count. H2 is low. Last is gonna be thrown down. Winter Trunch just in time by Renegade to keep himself alive. But he still falls down oh. by the, the cards. Honda Beast is still barely handing on here. And they are trying to go for the defense of a lifetime. 3v4. So far, Tempest the play is gonna be thrown down. H2, does he have anything in the tank? No, that's going to be the back off being called on here. As I get the last member alive, Deadly Magic is going to take him out. No doubt, but we'll do the Winter Truncheon. Buys a little bit more time and what? manages to survive by the skin of his teeth. And what? Aaron's being chased down by Honda Beast as well. H2 is going to be joining in on the fight. Honda Beast with the rage! Connects on to H2 as well! And here comes the rest of the basic. Jungkook's joining in on the fight. Does not have Deadly Magic available to burst out Aaron, but the game Games going to be there to take him out. This is a defense that Benasic wants! Wow, and this is where the kid actually buy themselves back into the game. Tornado, he gets shut down instead. This boss belt has been hanging out by himself. The Nasey, what an incredible work inside of the base, and not even the Lord has been able to land a touchdown onto the base overall. So now, the question is. No matter what they do, team, they couldn't even land their hands on to the base. So, if they were to march right in the same way that they do, that's definitely not going to be the answer. So, teams has got to try a whole lot harder to break down the defense.
Look at Honda. He gets a rage onto H2. That's going to be big, and they burst him out. Oh. Force the same mortality as well. Sagito's going to be in the back line to try to force out a lot of the issue here. But they will join out and get the knock up on them. On that Lolita, Doggy, not able to charge up the Numino Blast. Do a defense from themselves, but Renegade still takes out pain. HPs are low. Shadow Kill's not available. 30 game in each angle, and the only one left alive here. It's so through V. Or, and they still manage to make it out alive, but team, they're just walking on the doors here. All the lanes are pushing towards their lane, and this might just be the game. Chango bursts it down. Better their strike is here, and team is going to take game number one in this best of five series for the finals. 24 to 15. That was the final score for this match, but it was incredible on how well Benesic has been holding on to their fortress. But that fight that has erupted was almost.